the existing uh, areas. So I am uh, taking on the question now of uh, how is big data different from the traditional data management that you have been doing all along because that one question will be uppermost uh, in everyone's mind today saying that okay one can understand that big data is bringing in all these benefits but what were we doing in the earlier era when we were collecting still a lot of data we were putting it into some storage in some repository so what were we doing with that kind of an approach so here we are trying to compare these two different approaches so what you see on top is the classic uh, enterprise data warehouse method which means the classic way of uh, uh, storing uh, storing uh, data in various central repositories. So here the, it followed the traditional model of uh, the business users determining uh, what questions to ask and saying this is the kind of analysis that we want to do and then the data warehouse architects went after the kind of source of data that's required for analysis and then IT structured uh, those questions that could be answered. So here the emphasis on we want to capture only what is needed based on the questions that have been asked. So it was a more uh, a restricted uh, kind of an approach and also it fitted in, in those days when there was a lot of cost associated with storage, there was a lot of uh, problems associated with collecting data and therefore it was more of a filtering and funneling kind of an approach. Now if we look at what uh, I am describing in the bottom uh, layer, is, which is the big data method and here we are reverse the whole thing. I mean here uh, we are not starting with the business questions, here IT is delivering a platform for storing, refining and analyzing all the data sources. Now IT is saying I have no problem with collecting any kind of data, whatever be the type of structure that I am ready to collect it. So, and I don't know whether you need it now or not, but in any point of time if your business needs that, it's available. So we are delivering a platform because storage costs have gone down, transaction costs have gone down, that we have the ability to analyze any kind of data. So I am building the platform and now business is able to explore the data and find a lot of answers to the questions that uh, they didn't have earlier, but now they know that these are the questions worth asking because the data is available. So these are two, looks like two different kind of an approach, fundamentally different kind of an approach, but the interesting fact is that they are actually coming together. So many organizations are today building uh, what I call as a big data, EDW, big data integrated ecosystem, which allows one to have a data warehouse for certain kind of analysis, but build the big data platform to ensure that the business is able to analyze it the way they want. So this is a change that we are uh, seeing from the traditional data management to the new world of big data. I'm moving on to the next slide to show, uh, to delve further on this topic of uh, how big data and the enterprise data warehouse can coexist and complement each other. So here I'm listing a table where uh, I'm saying that uh, enterprise data warehouse still makes sense as far as certain aspects are concerned. For example, if uh, we are worried about uh, high quality, consistent data uh, or data governance or extensive security and compliance, so we are not looking at big data here, we are looking at what can come out of the data warehouse. For example, let's take a simple thing like a bank is maintaining uh, checking accounts for many customers. So we want the answer to what is the balance of a particular customer asking a question like what is the balance that I have in my account. So the answer to that has to be absolutely consistent. I mean, you can't give a different answers at different points of uh, time or from different places. So, so earlier I talked about big data accepts messiness, but in certain cases messiness and you know, poor quality of data is not acceptable at all and there we have to rely on enterprise data warehouses. So to summarize, the leverage traditional EDW systems for answering the known questions. And so that's, that's a point that we're trying to make, but we're deploying big data in unknown areas for advanced analytics. So that's a trend that we are seeing. So uh, this uh, actually makes my point that both uh, data warehouse and big data coexist and complement each other. So what are the trends that we are uh, seeing? Uh, I'm on slide number 13, which is talking about uh, kind of uh, uh, things that have happened so far and what can we expect as we move forward into the coming years. So we have seen so far that uh, integrated uh, enterprise data warehouse plus Hadoop plus data visualization, so that, that has been the norm. We have seen a lot of social media analytics and of course predictive analytics which is uh, the end result of all this uh, uh, big data work that uh, we do. So in areas like customer behavior, fraud detection and claims and, and things like that. So this is what we have been seeing so far and uh, in future we will see more of these integrated ecosystems. We will see in-memory computing goes mainstream which means uh, now compiling uh, 
reports will become much more easier. Users will be able to develop reports uh, based on their needs without uh, going in for big repositories. So we will have big data analytics on cloud, making it a lot more accessible, easier for people. And uh, we will have new sources of big data. So I've been talking about a lot of different kinds of sources of data. So we will also have now a lot of machine data, and we will have, uh, you know, with the, especially with the growth of Internet of Things, so we will have a lot of sensor data and machine data coming in. And from an analytics perspective, so uh, one can see a lot of advanced analytics, natural language processing, geospatial, integrating uh, voice and video data into the regular uh, you know, structured data format. So basically the emphasis will be on providing uh, accelerated business outcomes and building a connected world through all these changes happening in the big data space. So very exciting time for people involved in this space, whether purely from technology perspective or purely from business perspective. It, it's going to mean quite a lot of things as far as uh, enterprises are concerned. So to summarize what I have been uh, talking about so far, so big data definitely means big opportunity because the technology is there today uh, which will enable us to make sense out of all available data. So uh, there's tremendous amount of uh, uh, noise uh, that's there in the market. So one has to differentiate the noise from the signal. They feel that big data is all about uh, you know, improving the signal to noise ratio. And in this process, uh, I feel thousands of jobs, new roles are getting created. And people uh, understand now that big data is not a mere technology issue, but it's almost a social phenomenon which is actually changing enterprises the way they think and behave. Just to give, you, uh, to give you some quick statistics, I'm on slide uh, 15 to give you a kind of view of the market uh, of uh, big data. This is uh, uh, based on uh, a couple of sources which I lifted in the slide, uh, listed here. So we're talking about uh, a combined market of uh, you know, $10 billion of uh, big data market, so both if you put together the software as well as the services aspect. So you can see here that's a very healthy growth rate. And uh, this is rather, I would say, in a way, this is a conservative estimate. There are estimates.